Welcome to the sneaker bench. I'm Raj, that's Spirit Behind the Camera. Um, this is my first time being on camera, so. Ever. Ever. He's first. never, he, this is the first video that's ever been taken of him ever. Oh yeah, totally. I, no videos have ever been taken. Um, before we get into it, let's hit a little sneaker cam. Um, what I've got on feet is I have the Wave Runners. I got these with my internship money when I was in college. Love this shoe. Maybe one of my top three favorite shoes of all time. Very happy to have gotten these. Uh, Spear, what do you have on? Today I'm just wearing some van slip-ons. Nothing crazy. There's nothing crazy about these. Just blue suede and cream van slip-ons. Um, so I'm sorry if I disappointed you with this footwear choice. I did make fun of him for it, but he was like, hey, he's going to show what he was actually wearing today, which is admirable. That's very admirable. Yeah, almost switched what I was wearing, but this is what I was wearing today, so I'm not going to change up. Hey, we appreciate the honesty. Um, so we're going to get into some of the stuff that we talked about or that was cut out of our last video, um, including the J Balvin 3s, um, the KD 16s, uh, ALD 550s. Travis Scott Mac attacks. Oh, the Travis Scott Mac attacks, too. Those are super cool. Um, so, yeah, let's start with those. What do you think about those? Travis Scott Mac attacks, personally, I think that they are cool looking, but I don't really listen to the Travis Scott's music. So, I personally am not very excited for them. I don't want them. I don't, not that I hate Travis Scott or anything. It's just I want to like the person's music if I'm going to wear their sneaker. Um, but I do like the social status Mac attacks that are supposed to come out later this year. I think in the fall with the swooshes that scrape off and whatnot. I think those are really cool. The green that scratches away to orange, I believe, are the ones that I think are the best. And I'm excited for those. Yeah, I mean, I, um, as far as the Mac attacks go, I really like them. I think they're one of the first sneakers that I would consider buying where I actually dislike the artist. I do not like Travis Scott. I think a lot, a lot of his music is just like not very good. It's not for me. But the Mac Attacks are super cool. I think the reversing of the um, swoosh actually makes them a little bit more modern versus when they're like regular swoosh. For some reason, they give off a little bit different of a vibe. But I do like those. Um, I haven't looked into the show social status ones a ton, but um, yeah. they're very cool. I, I mean, I assume they're cool. The Mac Attack is a cool silhouette. I just want them to look a little bit more modern, and the reverse swoosh I think definitely did do that. So we'll see if I actually pick those up. I am in I am in line for another sneaker purchase relatively soon, so we'll see what happens. The reverse swoosh is a boring gimmick that they need to do something special, more special for Travis Scott, in my opinion. I think one of the cooler sneakers he's done has been the react 270 and those aren't my favorite sneaker but they were different from what other things travis scott does and i think they should do more things different like that instead of just putting a reverse swoosh on an old sneaker and telling people to buy it also the his sb dunks are really cool those are one those are his best sneaker in my opinion i didn't really like the 270s but they're different they are different they are very different um other stuff that we're catching up on, the ALD. J, uh, J Balvin's. The J Balvin's. The threes got leaked. He's been wearing them a lot. It's like the sunset on the back of the shoe. Very cool. Not something I would purchase, but in my opinion, probably my favorite J Balvin shoe that has come out yet. Um, what do you think? Um, I think it's... I, I mean, I know J Balvin is like a big uh, artist, and, but I don't necessarily listen to his, sne or his music. So I also don't really have that much interest in his sneakers. I would say that it's, I would agree, it's probably the better of his three sneakers that he has. Um, but I, I, I'm not interested in actually buying them. That makes sense. I think J Balvin's just had a lot of out there sneakers. Like his J Balvin ones, I honestly disliked those quite a bit. They were too out there for me. I didn't think that they actually like, one of the coolest parts about the Jordan one is that it is wearable and that it is like, something that's like universally cool and the j balvin just kind of like ripped that off with how insane those were um you also don't listen to j balvin's music though so that's maybe, also that, true, maybe yes. that's just how he is i don't i honestly have nothing i have no knowledge of anything about j balvin um so like maybe like i'm not gonna hate on action bronson sneakers for being crazy maybe j, j balvin is just like 
like like that in in a sneaker form. I don't know. So I'm not going to knock him, but it is a hard-to-wear sneaker. That's true and not my cup of tea, I would say. That's fair. It's uh, Sean O'Malley's favorite shoe, apparently, according to his interview with Jake. J, uh, GQ. GQ. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> That's staying in, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, you go straight into, I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, Sean O'Malley's favorite sneaker apparently is the J Balvin one, which um, he is my favorite UFC fighter. I do not like those shoes, though. Um, other shoes coming out soon the ALD 550s. Kind of boring. Yeah. They're cool, but, like, I mean, they made a brown and a tan 550. I don't know if we needed that. People are going to buy them, and they are cool, and I don't have a 550, and I do th think those are cool. I would wear those, but at the same time, um, I would say a I would want ALE to do different stuff, but they are doing different stuff, so if they want to make a, like, home run 550 every once in a while, I'm not yeah. mad at it. As far as other stuff, KD sixteens. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. tell him. I, after what happened in the last video, I'm not telling him how I feel about the KD sixteens. You're gonna have to at least wait one more video to know how, what I think. I know you're all patiently waiting. Anyways, let's get into the oh the sneaker we're talking about today, which is it is the Skepta Air Max ninety sevens Ultra. Um, as far as the box goes, it's pretty on the front at least. It's pretty normal, pretty standard, um, but the sides is where I think it gets interesting with, it's just got like the, the Nike logo, it's got like a bunch of random parts, it's just like a lot, same on that end. Kaleidoscope looking. Kaleidoscope looking, yeah, that's a good way to describe it. On the side, this is the tag from like the resale shop I guess I bought it from on Grailed, um, and size tag and everything. This side has nothing. Get those bad boys out. So, when I first got these sneakers, I got them from a resale shop. I got them used. Which, you know, I, sneaker video. I got them used. They smelled so loud when I got them in. They, like, <laughs> they smelled like weed. Like, I, they weren't. I opened up the box and it hit me like a truck. It was terrible. Um, but, let's, I guess inside the box first, the, the paper is that more of that, like, kaleidoscope looking thing. So, I guess that's cool. Let's get that thumbnail. We need a good thumbnail. Put yeah. there. Just get that right there. All right, cool. Um, so yeah. As far as the shoe goes, it smelled so it smelled so bad when it first came in. But I just stuck some dryer sheets in it, and it did magic for it. The box doesn't smell anymore. The shoes don't smell anymore. I put like fifteen dryer sheets, dryer sheets in each. But um. But they, they didn't have any, like, heel drag or anything. Yeah. So whatever, wh whoever I, was wearing <laughs> these was literally just smoking in these. The, the, <laughs> or just, like, storing weed in them. Like, it smelled that bad. I genuinely think that might have been the case. If, if he got a good deal on them, so we didn't I did know get a why. Super good deal on them. And I think we know why. <laughs> this guy was like, you know, that wasn't in the description, though. But <laughs> it was not in the description. I left it in the review, trust me. <laughs> But um, as you far as the sneaker the goes, huh? You left out in the review? Yeah, I gave him four stars. <laughs> Box and shoes smelled super loud. <laughs> I think that's a generous four star. I mean, it's... It, I mean, it was in good condition and no heel drag. I'll just call that four stars. And like the inside hadn't been worn out at all. It's true. But anyways, getting back to the shoe, this is an Air Max 97 Ultra. So it's actually lighter than like your Air Max 90, your regular Air Max 97. So if you have a pair of like silver bullets, like Spiro has, these are going to be a lot lighter than what super light they're, yeah they're gonna be a lot lighter than what those are um as far as the shoe goes it is this black i don't know is the are the polka dots like picking up on camera like the on yeah, the mesh? They, they can see them it's like okay. that carbon fiber looking pattern yeah so it's like a carbon fiber looking pattern and then it's got this iridescent um outsole or not outsole upper um guard yeah stripes whatever yeah and then this is like a green, obviously, um, which I think goes really well with um, the rest of the shoe. The yellow Sh bubble. Yeah, there's a yellow bubble on it as well, the midsole. I, this is a shoe where I think, um, it, I don't normally like black shoes with white socks, but I think this works because the iridescent just looks really cool in the light. And it, it, in the sunlight, it 
the way it changes colors just looks super cool. Um, as far as the tongue goes, pretty normal stuff. It's got that same um, carbon fiber pattern there and the green from the side as well. Oh, uh, you have the braided. Uh... Yeah, you got the braided top and then you have the braided back as well, which I think is really cool. Those, that's really sweet. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of that. And it's just fun to honestly just like run your fingers over. Um, yeah, I got these in super good condition. You can see like they almost look, I honestly, anything that's been on there is just because I've worn them. The stick, um, the, this on the inside, this, whatever you call it, the SK Air um sticker or whatever is still fully intact yeah oh and also the braided is on the uh, the braided is right there too so it's going up and down the entire sneaker which is i think pretty cool um yeah i don't know i like these a lot i got these for like a hundred dollars on grailed um which hundred dollars only a hundred dollars is more than that no only a hundred dollars dude really yeah I got these for a hundred dollars on Grailed. I've seen them going on eBay from anywhere from like a hundred to like two fifty, um, but that's obviously like my size, which is a size ten. So I don't know. Uh, some of the other sizes might be more, especially if you're like a bigger, have a bigger foot or something like that. Um, Very cool sneaker. This is one of my favorite sneakers from the like mid two thousand tens. I think they're really, really, really cool. Um, I don't listen to Skepta's music that much, so it's another kind of scenario where I, I don't know if I, like, I could fully wear these confidently, but at the same time, this is a sneaker I think is really cool, and I do really, really, really like Air Maxes, so I would totally get these if I had the chance. Um, they're a little old now, but still very, very cool. They definitely still hold up today, in my opinion. Yeah, and you already have the the iridescent on this is based off of that one other shoe that you already have, right? Tuned Max, yeah. The Tuned Max. Um, so yeah, I I don't know. I really like these. I, I listen to Skepta only when I'm working out because a lot of his music is just like good to lift in and stuff. But um, it's cool to see yeah. Skepta get a collaboration. I know you guys have probably heard this. If you're watching this, you're you probably already know about the sneaker, but you know, the grime scene in the UK, Air Max 95 and 97s are very big deal yeah. and, and more, but yeah. those two definitely big deal. And, um, the connection with the sneaker and that music scene with Skepta made a lot of sense. So I, I think that's a very cool matchup and the fact that it happened and it was a big success too is yeah. very, very cool. And also, one thing I will say, Skepta does have, I think, kind of underrated collabs because he has another 97 that came out, and it's like this. He's got the BW um, 97. It's not a, a full 97. Yeah, I know. It's like got the big Nike swoosh all, all along the side, but it's like one, I don't know, is it one that's red and one that's white, or is it switch on the inside and outside, do you know? Uh, I think one's red and one's blue, but I don't fully remember. He's also got the Air Max Deluxe, and yeah, he's also yeah, got yeah. the the shocks and then he also has the i forget what the shoe is called but it's like the blue like kind of tie-dye looking and not really tie-dye but it looks like a, a portal to another dimension it's got like the metallic swoosh um i'll put a picture up and i'll i'll write what the model is i don't remember what those are but um he's got a lot of cool sneakers but i think these 90 sounds are definitely the best yeah, I mean, I, these are my favorite, but I really like those, like the white and blue, the BW97s or whatever those are um, called. But yeah, I mean, that that's the Skepta review. They're super comfortable as well. I walk, I, You can walk around, obviously, just like any other 97. Um, they're going to be super comfortable. Uh, More comfortable though than a regular 97. Oh, yeah. They're lighter. They're lighter. That adds a lot. That and the lot. cushioning, it's softer. <sighs> that's all I had. Um, yep, that's all I got. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for tuning in to the Sneaker Bench. Hope you have a great day. Like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> what do you think? Do you uh, want to know what we think about the KD 16s? Hate me, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> tell us you hate Raj. Tell us you love Raj. Whichever one it is, tell us in the comments below. Have a great day. Have a good one.